Pablo Picasso was born on October 25th, 1881. Born in Malaga, Spain. He started painting and drawing at age eight. Jose Ruiz y Blasco was a Spanish painter and art teacher and was Pablo Picasso's father. Since he was an art teacher, he would take full control of Pablo's education. He even gave him lessons and sent him to schools where he was working as a teacher himself. He was a teacher at the Escuela Provincial de Bellas Artes in Malaga, Spain. This was Picasso's first completed painting at the young age of eight years old. It's called Le Picador. In 1889, Picasso was meant to become an artist. His first word was piz, P-I-Z, short for lapis, which means pencil. In the early years of the 20th century, Picasso started a long-term relationship with Ferdinand Olivier, she appears in many of the Rose Period paintings, and this is one of the paintings that Picasso made in the Rose Period. A little while after Picasso left Olivier for Marcel Humbert, whom Picasso called Eva, Picasso included declarations of his love for Eva in many of his Cuban, Cubist works. When Picasso found out that Eva was diagnosed with cancer, he attended her every need. He even made trips across Paris to visit her at the hospital. The blue period of Picasso is a period between the 1900 and 1904. He painted monochromatic paintings in shades of blue and blue-green. A monochromatic painting is created using only one color or hue. This painting was done in 1903 and the, it's called the blind man's meal. The medium is oil on canvas. This one is called the old guitarist and it's an oil painting created in late 1903 and finished it in 1904. It depicts an old blind haggard man with Redbear clothing weekly hunched over his guitar playing in the street of Barcelona, Spain. This painting is oil on canvas and it's a woman staring guessing into looks like she's staring into nothingness. She has her arms folded and she's wearing a white robe. It's simple. I do not know how to pronounce the title of this painting, but I'll put it in the subtitles these somber works inspired by spain but painted in paris are some of his most popular works although at the time he had difficulty selling them the works that he produced during the blue period seem to reflect his experience of poverty and instability depicting beggars the old and the frail and the blind another big influence of Picasso producing the blue period works was a uh, his suicide of his friend Carlos Casagemas who took his life in Paris by shooting himself in the right temple on February 17th 1901. Casagema was a poet he fell victim to unrequited love and ultimately he just took his own life after attempting to kill his lover uh, this had a big effect on Picasso because uh, when he produced the works in the blue period, he was still in his late teens. He was away from home for the first time and he was living in very poor conditions. So the blue period was quite sentimental for Picasso. In 1905 through 1906, the rose period began. The subject matter is a little less depressing. He uh, brings in different colors, beige and rose, like a rose kind of tone. The artwork that I'll be talking to you guys about is called Garnica. It's 
mural sized oil painting on canvas. He completed it in June 1937 in Paris, and you can find it in Museo Nacional Centro de Arte Reina Sofia in Paris. At first glance, it's not really easy to decipher what's going on in the picture, but everything seems to be about pain. Everything's in black and white, some shades of gray. The term Garnica refers to the city that was bombed by the Nazis during the Spanish Civil War. Garnica sits in the Basque country in the northern part of Spain. Garnica was considered to be the hub of Basque culture. Garnica shows the horrors and the tragedies of the war, as well as the pain that was inflicted upon innocent individuals. Garnica is a huge painting, approximately 11 feet tall and 25 feet wide. It's a mural-sized oil painting, and, is, and it's his most famous work. It's his political reaction to the bombing of the Nazis in the town of Basque. The many figures in the painting have their mouths open because of the, of the pain and suffering, almost as if wailing for help. On the left side of the painting, there is a woman holding her dead child. Her head is tilted back and mouth open. There's a bull's head next to the mother holding the child. The bull's nose looks to be distorted. The horns appear to be facing one side, while the nose doesn't correlate to the same side. Beneath the bull appears a dead man, only head and hand of show. The hand is hugely exaggerated and it appears to be reaching out. Towards the cent top center of the painting, there is an eye shaped sun with a light bulb in the center of the sun. Underneath the sun, there is a horse screaming in pain. On the right side of the painting, there appears to be three women. One woman appears to be trapped, screaming in pain, as what looks like to be fire rising from the top. Another woman seems to be running looking at the light above, while the other is leaning outward. Her arm is extended, extended holding a lamp. The whole painting is in black and white, and the center of the painting is a newspaper, newspaper print sort of texture right by the horse. I feel that the black and white helps to focus more on the action, lines, shapes, and forms in the painting rather than the colors that can further emphasize his statement more clearly. In the Garnica painting, there's many lines across and in between the figures that make the figures stand out. The sun has shape, the three women have shape, the bull and the horse have shape, the child has shape. The use of the many lines that Picasso used in his Garnica painting, I used in my shirt with the patterns that I have. This picture I drew a number of years ago. I believe I drew this when I was four years old. That was in pre-K. Let's also ignore the fact that not only did I paint inside the lines I kind of went outside the lines a little bit and I missed some of the spots on my face as well. Mm -hmm.